Virgin Island Water by the House of Creed. Is it the best tropical scent on the market right now? Or is it super overpriced and easy to copy? Find out right now. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I just wanna do a little review today on Creed's Virgin Island Water. The super juicy coconut and lime Creed fragrance. Pretty much the only Creed fragrance that I know of that has coconut and lime in it. Probably the most pleasant Creed that I've ever smelled. I think if you were to show everybody all the uh, the Creeds right here, I think Virgin Island Water is just one that everybody's gonna really, really like. I don't know if it'd be 100% their favorite thing. It's definitely something a lot of people are gonna like. It is very, very, very crowd-pleasing and, and very, very you know enjoyable. So what does it smell like? Usually it smells like either coconut or lime uh, or both. The coconut's very juicy in my opinion, very fruity. There's also um, a little bit of like lemon citruses on the top, but it's mainly the coconut in there and so it usually smells like juicy fresh coconut or it smells like lime when you actually smell them they pull on different ends of the spectrum the um, the lime is very kind of dry and a little bit a little bit sharper whereas the coconut is very you know juicy and fruity and um, so usually you don't smell like 50 50 for me you smell like um, mostly coconut or mostly lime but you know dressing up the coconut and lime there is some citruses in there there's some musk in there there's some sugar cane in there and there is some ginger in there um, i do want to say i'll probably do a video on it sometime that ginger is actually one of my favorite notes personally yeah, they use it in um, ysl's loam which i absolutely love they use it in the abercrombie and fitch scent called colden that i absolutely love it's mainly ginger and i think ginger just gives it a, such a zing of freshness on like a fresh scent and i just i really like things with ginger in it when i dig deeper in there the ginger is there but it's not you know right at the top so people say that it smells like sunscreen people say that you know people people say that it doesn't smell like sunscreen i was watching big beard businesses video he's like i don't get the sunscreen vibe at all i love this fragrance but i get a huge sunscreen vibe mainly when it smells like coconut now i gotta say uh when it gets hot it smells more like lime when it's more you know cooler it's going to smell more like coconut and the coconut definitely 100 percent smells like premium sunscreen i've had sunscreen lots of times um, this smells very coconutty especially the kinds i've had recently I've had one that smells almost exactly like this that i got a compliment on i actually wore that out and i got a compliment on it also my friend what's worth noting my friend and i both independently bought samples of this fragrance and he's already received one compliment with it i thought that was worth uh, noting we've probably worn it I've worn it once or twice. He's worn it once or twice. We've tested it and tested it a lot, you know, on our skin, this, that. Unfortunately, when you have a vial like this, you really, I mean, I have, if I were to go and really try it out, I, you know, it'd take maybe like three, four days of going really hard on this, maybe a little bit less. So usually I do a good, like I'll wait for the right time to wear it. And then other than that, I'll test it back to back. I'll test it versus, you know, summer, indoors, just one. How long does it last on my skin? How long does it last on fabric? And I can actually learn a lot from that point right there, as well as showing other people um, the clone. Uh, it was worth noting, I did show like every, a bunch of people in Sephora. I went to a several Sephora's and all the girls liked it. It just really, it just went over really well. None of them really were just like, oh, that's the best thing I've ever smelled. But it worked across the board. So very, very good. I really do like fragrances that smell like sunscreen. Not every fragrance, every Every time I wear a fragrance but it rem sunscreen reminds me of being at the beach and especially when you turn it up and like put a little more zest on it I just I, I don't mind sunscreen selling fragrance to me and this is like the premium ultra you know version of that but it has solid performance probably one and a half to two hours I did have Millicene Imperial that I'm gonna be reviewing in the future this this is gonna get you noticed more than Millicene Imperial I'll, I'll talk about Millicene Imperial when I do my review of it but um, very, very good for the smell. It's just so damn good, so easy to like. I'm gonna have to go 8.5 to nine for the smell. Phenomenal, so, so, so easy to like, especially in the hot weather situations. So, I mean, yeah, this I would go really good out here. It's hot all the time around here, so it works out good for me. So for longevity, I'd probably give it a seven to a 7.5. Actually, probably, I'll probably give it a 7.5 solid for the, the performance overall. And then, oh, I mean, overall, I have to give this an 8 to an 8.5 for this fragrance. I mean, I do want to take a little bit of points away because it is expensive. I think it's about $150 to $200 um, if you want to pick this up. You can get a, um, a 5 mil trial like I did for 12 bucks on eBay. So that's really cool. I mean, you really could test this out. You could see, is this a dope fragrance or is this not a fragrance you want to buy for 12 bucks? And this is an expensive premium fragrance. So I think it's, I like doing it that way. And for me this is totally bottle worthy it's just something that i just love and once i get into niches and start just picking the ones up that i like this is one that i'm just gonna have to get for right now i'm just sticking with hair for my only purchase but 
this one's so easy to like i really really like this stuff i'm gonna have to give it an 8 to an 8.5 overall really nothing wrong with it i just really really like this fragrance if you guys like this fragrance i'd like to hear down below do you know any uh, clones that smell like this anything that smells similar do you like think things like that smell better than this i'll be interested to see down below because you guys um uh, several times i've pointed out a fragrance that i really really like and uh, you guys will tell me ones that you like more and sometimes i like them more sometimes i like them less but every time i'm really interested to see what you guys got to say so anyways thanks so much for getting the end of my review of creed's version island water thank you so much um uh, please leave any feedback down below like comment subscribe all that helps if you hit the subscription bell that helps and uh, i would love to hear what you thought of this video uh, if you want to see any more videos from me i'd love to see uh, what topics you got for me down below and uh what do you think of creed's version island water and uh, what do you think of creed's what do you think of clones in general i'd love to know Anyways, guys, I'm having a great day out here in the heat, Southern California. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Whoa. It's probably filming right now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I forgot about it until right now. I was here. We were all saying. <laughs>